All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning or afternoon or whatever it is where you are, and welcome back to fishing. So what I have planned for you today is something a little bit different than what I've been posting, uh, something I haven't done for a little while. We're going to do a, a catch, clean, and cook video. And this time we're going to do a species that uh, is one of the more underappreciated and potentially most underrated flatfish species in the northeast of the United States, if not the United States in general. We are looking at the sundial, a.k.a. the windowpane. Uh, these are a, a common or fairly common flatfish that you can find in the northeast of the United States, and you typically would not be targeting these. You get these as a bycatch if you're predominantly fishing for fluke. Uh, I've only gone fluke fishing three times this year as of the making of this video, and I've already encountered quite a few. Uh, just a little reminder, you're seeing it on the screen right now. Uh, however, during my third fluke session, which was one of the better sessions or the best session I've had this year so far, which you'll see soon enough, uh, I decided that I was going to keep one of these sundials because I wanted to ensure that I had enough meat for a uh, dinner. Uh, fortunately, I ended up getting quite a few keepers. However, uh, at the making of the video, I wanted to try something and do something a little different, so I decided to keep a sundial. And for the record, and I'll repeat this throughout the video, uh, A, I have kept sundials before, uh, not for a very, very, very long time, uh, but the last time I kept one was so long ago that I was a child, and I can't really remember, or couldn't really remember as of the making of this video, what it tasted like. Uh, second, I also want to give credit where credit's due. Uh, part of the inspiration of this video was another YouTube channel, Cooking and Fishing. Uh, I linked his video, or the video that inspired me to do this, in the description of this video. Uh, very good channel. Definitely check it out if this kind of thing is up your alley. Uh, much better cook than me. I am not a trained chef at all. Uh, very weekend warrior when it comes to cooking. I'm more just the essentials, not style. So check out his stuff. And without further ado, let's get this video underway. Let's see the fish that we ended up catching and keeping. Here Not sure what that is. Oh, if that's a sundial, you're coming home with me. That is definitely coming home with us. That's a decent sized one too. All right, folks, it's happening. Sundial. I don't know if I'm gonna make the video out of it, but we're gonna at least test one of these out. And if it happens to be decent, or not, you'll see it, but, uh, whoa, close one. This is, for those of you that don't know, if I can get a grip on this guy, this is a sundial or window pane. It is not a summer flounder, it's not a winter flounder. Uh, it's another common flatfish species that you find up here in the Northeast. Um, there's no size limit or regulations on these, so far as I know. Uh, so that being said, we're going to keep this guy. They're definitely edible. It's just been a long time since I've kept one. Uh, and we're going to see if we can do something fun with this guy. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we got that sundial. We're bleeding them out in the, the Mirage Drive well. Um, we're going to need a couple of those to make anything even remotely resembling a meal. But if all we get is this one, I can eat it with the fluke. I'm not going to do a traditional fillet job with this. We're going to try and cook them whole. And they're so thin that... I don't even think you have to fillet one of the sides. You can just cook the whole thing whole. Uh, we're going to see how that goes. When we look at some recipes, stay tuned for that. Okay, so here we are. Uh, as promised, we are doing a catch clean cook the first of 2021. Uh, this is actually the first day that I've kept any fish for myself in 2021. So of all the fish that I've kept this year, uh, with the, the limited exception of the fish that I gave away to some friends, uh, these are the first fish that I'm keeping for myself. Uh, and I did get some fluke in this session, but that's not why you're here, is it? Uh, we are here for this guy. We got our little sundial, AKA window pane. And I just want to stress, this is not a summer flounder. This is not a winter flounder. Both of those fish have seasons. They have um, regulations in terms of how big they have to be. No such thing exists for the window pane. Uh, so with that being said, uh, I was hoping to get a couple more of these today, but we only got this one, so uh, when life hands you lemons, you know, you make lemonade. And when life 
Panju sundials. We are going to cook this guy whole and uh, basically just fry him in the pan. So before I go any further with this, I just wanna do a big shout out to where I got the idea, uh, Cooking and Fishing on YouTube. Great YouTube channel. Guy, uh, This guy in particular is a great fisherman, fishes from the kayak, cooks obviously as the name implies. Uh, and I've gotten a lot of good ideas, and this is going to be very similar to the video he did with just a few uh, tweaks that I'm going to implement myself. Uh, so I'm not going to show you the whole cleaning process on this because it might be a little gruesome, but I'm just going to describe it for you and I'll show you the other end. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut away the fins on both sides. We're going to remove the eyes because we're frying it. Uh, we'll cut the tail, we'll cut this fin. And then we're going to basically gut this fish right here, get all that out, because we don't want any of that getting into our meat when uh, we cook this fish on the fryer. Uh, that being said, uh, a little historical context, if you will. Um, believe it or not, like I think the first time I ever really dialed in a bite saltwater fishing when I was a child was for these guys. Uh, I used to catch them off the shore in Montauk with my dad. Uh, God bless my dad for taking me out fishing and catching these things and me basically making uh, him keep these fish and clean them when I was like six or seven years old. So I don't think I've really kept these fish or eaten them since that time. So I'm really interested to see how these things taste when compared to say a summer or winter flounder. So that being said, we're going to dive into this guy, uh, clean him up and we're gonna scale him too. We gotta scale him. So we're just gonna take the knife and go against the grain and get all the scales off. They're very small scales, much different texture to the skin than say a summer flounder. Uh, we're gonna do all that and uh, when we come back we will actually be uh, brining this guy. I'll show you that process and we'll take it from there. All right, so we took the eyeballs out, took off the fins, uh, gutted the fish. Now we're just going to salt it, brine it, uh, put a liberal amount of salt on both sides of the fish and then we're going to put it in the fridge, let it sit like that for about 10 minutes fried out a bit and then I think it'll be ready to throw in the fryer. So I'm just gonna get it on there, good amount. Do the same thing on the other side, really rub it in. Really rub that salt into the fish. All right, so we're back. We let the fish uh, sit in the salt in the fridge for a while. Now we're going to throw some cornstarch on it and just really get that on there. We're gonna fry it in some, some hot oil. And I think it's gonna be yummy. Both sides, making a mess, but it's all right. We, uh, yeah, I'm glad we didn't go flour on this. Obviously, I think I made this clear already, but again, I am not, this is not an original idea here. I'm totally, this is almost like a, a tribute to cooking and fishing's recipe. Uh, just looked like such a good idea that I had to try it. So I'll make sure to link his video in the description of this video so you can check it out. Uh, but yeah, that looks like it's about good to go. We're just gonna let that, that uh, oil heat up a little bit and then we're gonna slap this guy on there and hopefully it'll be nice and tasty. Okay, so we let that uh, oil heat up on the pan for a little bit. We're gonna throw this guy in there. We're gonna go top down because that's where the thicker meat is. We want to cook through. Probably leave it on there for about six, seven minutes. This is a cast iron pan, so it's gonna get pretty toasty. Uh, we're cooking it in, of course, canola oil, Crisco, the finest. Uh, and we're going to just let it cook through probably six or six or so minutes. Uh, flip her over and then uh, we'll be ready to move on to finishing. Okay, we had it on the one side for about six or so minutes. Uh, we have a very sensitive smoke alarm, so we know it's definitely cooking through pretty nice. We're just gonna ever so gently. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, we're gonna let that cook for probably another four minutes, and then uh, I think we'll be good to go. Put a little salt and pepper on there just to get a little seasoning. One way ticket to flavor country. OK, 
Okay, here we go, the moment of truth. Uh, I am not exaggerating. We didn't do a test run of this. I just caught one of these today and said, you know what, we're gonna try and keep one. Uh, outside of that, I've not eaten one of these fish since I was probably eight or nine years old. So without further ado, let's see what the, the hubbub is. I'm gonna try it just as is. Um, no dipping sauce to start. A little. Whew. Well cooked. There we go. Now we're getting it. Oh yeah. That's pretty tasty. Pretty darn tasty. Um, very mild. Uh, obviously we got the salt seasoning going <clears throat> with the cornstarch and the pepper. So, you know, this isn't like a healthy way to cook this, but very tasty. Um, let's see how it goes with the dipping sauce. Oh. There it is. That is delicious. Um, that sauce is incredible with this fish. Um, I don't know, I mean, this is a little bit of work, but I think honestly most of this work has just been shooting this video. Um, plus I had to clean all the other fluke. I would think twice about throwing these back if I was getting into a lot of these. And maybe, um, you know, you get three or four of these, you have two or three frying pans, two or three burners. You know, that's a nice little, it's not gonna make the meal, because they don't get too much bigger than this, but uh, it's a nice little like part of a meal. You know, you have one of these in a side salad, some vegetables. Uh, you know, it's a fairly modest serving. I think it's a really nice alternative to summer flounder or winter flounder. Uh, so I'm just gonna say, and this will be the title of the video, this is probably the under most underappreciated flatfish in the Northeast of the United States. Uh, that might be hyperbole, some might say, but uh, you can debate me in the comments. So I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I'm really looking forward to finishing this fish. Obviously, I have to let my beautiful wife try it as well. And I will also give her credit where credit's due. She made the, the dipping sauce. Uh, so yeah, delicious. Uh, but that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see other Catch Clean Cooks, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will catch you all in the water next time. See you all later.